guys, what's up? Andy here, that huge Asian guy. And today we're going to talk a little bit about um, peptides and what I'm doing for recovery. I've um, been getting a lot of questions about what peptides I'm using and how to use it or what are they, and etc. etc. So the two peptides I'm using right now is, are BPC157 and TB500. And um, they're both peptides. I mean, you can Google it and it'll tell you what they do. But it, in general, they help um, with speeding up the healing process for wounds, uh, increase muscle growth, um, you know, actually reduce uh, inflammation, um, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of the tests have been on rats. There hasn't been like a full on study on humans. Um, but everyone that I've talked to and I've used it all swear by it and it's bodybuilders, powerlifters, all that. So um, it's, it is a little bit pricey, but to me, whatever gets me back lifting again healthy, I'm going to do. Especially when everyone I've talked to and I respect their opinion and experience tells me how well it works. <coughs> um, I'm not going to go into where to buy it because uh, I don't know how the legalities of that and you know there are a lot of fake pep uh, peptide research chemical sites out there um, but you're gonna have to just ask around and do your due diligence and you know find someone who knows what they're talking about um, so for me what I'm doing uh, the dosage is um, for BPC 157, I'm doing two shots a day, uh, 250 micrograms, uh, morning and night, uh, right around the area. Um, I kind of spread it around. And then the TB500, uh, it's only two shots a week. And I do, um, it, I started with one milligram uh, twice a week. Uh, I've heard of people going up to two twice a week. Um, I just kind of start conservative and also, like I said, it's pretty expensive. So that's what I'm doing as far as the peptides. Um, as far as my injury, I still have bruising and some swelling, but full range of motion, no pain, no, the clicking is gone. I used to have clicking whenever I'd like straighten my leg out, bend it right in the muscle. It's not like in my knee, it was in my muscle. Now that's gone, so I think that's always a good sign. Um, and my everyday use, standing, walking upstairs, uh, standing from sitting, squatting, going to the bathroom, etc. Uh, no pain. Um, and then when I have been, do I've been doing, you know, uh, a lot of posterior work, uh, for my lower body because it's all kind of all I'm allowed to do. Um, so I'll do like stiff legs or RDLs, but while I'm warming up, I'll try and maybe do the bar and then the one plate and just do like a regular deadlift. Uh, so I'm not like going as low as a squat, but I'm just I'm still using my my quads a little bit and that seems fine So I think I'm headed in the right direction But there's no hurry also. I'm not gonna try and just start squatting out of nowhere um, But once I start uh, using it again, I'll, uh, update, I'll update you further on that uh, I'm gonna start getting massages and um, PT work on it I feel like there's no pain now so I can uh, work on get it worked on um, without hurting it more and other stuff I'm doing is um, you know I'm taking curcumin which is good for inflammation uh, magnesium different kinds different chelated magnesiums that's good for your muscles and then using the power dot just about every day when I can remember because um, that just fires your muscle contracts, relax it um, without having, to, without really creating any damage. Um, I'm stopped icing and uh, other than that, you know, my, you see my stiff leg deadlifts and RDLs, I'll start posting them more. Um, if you're following on Instagram, um, I'm getting stronger. I'm actually right at my best as far as um, the RDL I did. I did um, 600 for seven reps the other day. And my best has been 585 for eight. Uh, but at the same time, it, it's never, that's always an accessory exercise. It's not something like I max out at. 
but I think right now I can maybe go for try doing that and just strengthen my posterior as much as I can. Um, so that's the plan. Maybe in a month I'll reassess and, and start doing some direct quad work, hopefully. Um, but everything's going, getting better, so that's good. And um, if you have any more questions, just comment and ask, and uh, I'll try and get to them. So that's it, guys. See you next time.